In our Health Watch this morning, two things that don't really seem to go together, newlyweds and cheating. You'd think, in fact, a brand new marriage would be safe from infidelity, but a new study reported in Women's Health magazine finds 20% of men and 15% of women who've been married for less than a year admitted to having an affair. Why and how does it happen? How can you prevent it? Dr. Bonnie eaker Weil is a relationship therapist and the author of several books on infidelity. Her latest, Financial Infidelity, comes out the 31st. Great to have you with us this morning. Thank you. I have to say what's amazing to me, those numbers, 15 and 20 percent of, uh, of women and men respectively under 35, the numbers are actually rising, but we have to point out, these are people who admit it. So. What do you think those numbers are really like in terms of cheaters? I would say it's probably more than half because you know what happens? There's such a contrast and a letdown. Here you are in the honeymoon stage when you're engaged, basking in those hormones and feeling so wonderful, and then all of a sudden, smack, you go into a power struggle. But what, but what then makes someone think, oh, all of a sudden I'm miserable. Hey, how about I cheat on my new spouse and that'll make everything better? Well, that's interesting that you say that, but everyone that cheats has an intimacy problem. And actually, if you think about it, Infidelity is not about a decision-making process, mm -hmm. but monogamy is a decision to stay faithful. And if you're having an intimacy problem, you're not thinking clearly. Why are there more newlyweds cheating? There are more is newlyweds it? cheating because they have intimacy problems. Okay. They just didn't realize it, and the internet doesn't help us. Until they said, I do. So let's take a look at some of these signs that we can look for, maybe before we say, I do, to know whether or not there could be a problem after the big day. You say, um, take a look at how many friends they have of the opposite Absolutely. sex. Absolutely. If they have opposite sex friends, too many of them, that's a warning sign. That's a red flag. Also, are these friends cheating? Mm -hmm. Also, also. Does your partner drink too much? Because that's a dopamine high, and when that's over, then they go to adultery, which gives so you a saying, high. You, so you're saying somebody who's a big drinker or who may, may have other abuses, then this, isn't, this is just another sign of abuse, perhaps? Yes, because they're looking to self-medicate, and adultery is a mm -hmm. high. It's like a narcotic love drug, actually. Okay. And also, the internet, you know, is, is a sign. And I tell people to look at the cheetogram, which is a family tree, mm -hmm. to see three generationally what is the family doing. Is adultery part of that? And what is the belief of your partner? Do they think it's okay? Well, and that's the most important thing is whether or not they think it's okay, because obviously if they're doing it, and you mentioned the family history, which brings them an important point. For a lot of people, they may look at this and say, okay, well, if I think, if I think somebody's going to cheat, maybe I should just say, forget it. Can you change a cheater? Absolutely. I have a 98% rate of couples that stay together, and my parents stay together, and my father cheated. You have to do the work, because actually it's a cry for help, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a wake-up call. It's a dysfunctional attempt to try to stabilize the relationship. It's interesting that I feel like all this stuff always comes back to communication, which is, of course, the most important thing, one of the most important things in a marriage. Bonnie eaker Wild, great to have you with us. Thank you so much and for And I know there's me. a lot more in your new book, Financial Infidelity. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you so much, Erica. And for more healthy marriage tips, including a little bit more information on that old cheetogram, head on over to our partner in health coverage, webmd.com. Search for Happy Marriage. We have some tips on our website as well, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.